D3 TV. What the heck is up? Julia, Megan, Megan, Broad Ripple's Best. This is our new show. We are going to be trying different local restaurants in Broad Ripple where we are residing this semester. Mm -hmm. And we're essentially going to pick a food and then go to three different places, try that same food, and then report back to you which one was the best. But also we are making sure to only stick to small local restaurants because if you haven't heard, there's a global pandemic and small local restaurants are struggling and they need our support. We're about to go try three different pizza places today. That is our first food. So this week, drum roll, we will be going to Basbo's, we will be going to Burns and Diavola. All completely different pizzas, mm -hmm. all very famous local Broad Ripple pizza joints. Yep. So we're very excited. And the first one we are going to is Basbo's. So we'll see you soon. So yeah, we opened in 1986 as uh, one of the first local owned little pizza places here in Broad Ripple. And we were the first kind of uh, Neapolitan style kind of pizza. And um, we've had a pretty good following since 1986, since we're still here. It's been difficult. We're lucky because we're pizza. Everybody likes pizza. We're usually 70% in-house business, 30% carry-on delivery. And now we're 70% carry-on delivery, 30% in-house. We have a very uh, loyal a customer base who's been with us for 30 years. And when things got really bad, they came out strong. Um, we'd have people ordering two or three times a week from us. We make our own dough, we grind our own cheese. Um, we make anything in-house that we can. But the quality of the food is really good, but a lot of it is our staff. Um, we have servers who have been here for 20 years because they like it here and the people like that. Most people walk in and we already know what they want to eat. Well, our number one selling pizza is the Quattro Formaggio. It's four cheese, bacon, and mushroom. It's what the restaurant was built on. It was like our signature pizza. It's got the four cheeses on it, like I said, all grated fresh. Uh, the mushrooms aren't canned, they're nice fresh mushrooms, the bacon would be bacon here. Yeah, by far it outsells every other pizza like two to one. I've actually started working here when I was 18 and now I'm 47. <laughs> so I started off washing dishes and uh, you know, it's such a great um, establishment. Our owner really takes care of his people. That's why no one leaves. We all come here and uh, you don't dread going to work. You come in every day and it's not going to be bad. We're making pizza, you know, it's a, it's a good time. We're here at Basbo's. Um, they recommended that we get the four cheese with mushroom and bacon. It's their best seller. Baby. So um, I'm excited. There's a lot of cheese on here. It's, it's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. I'm ready to smash some stuff. Oh my God, look at this. Oh. <laughs> I just lost some of my cheese. All right, cheers. Mmm. Oh, Wait, that is so good. I was a little worried when I saw the cheese because it looked like a yeah. lot for me. Because I'm not, I like a, just one cheese. Mm -hmm. It looks intimidating. And maybe it is, but in the best way. No, this is really good. That is so good. It's a thicker pizza. It's yeah. a thicker, thin crust, but it has the crunch on the bottom. Mm -hmm. The sauce, not too much. The cheese is warm and gooey. It's charred at the bottom, which I like. He did not steer us wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought this place would be a classic za, but this isn't your classic pizza. No, it's it's different. This is extraordinary. It's different. There's no Papa John's, no offense. Pardon me say, but extraordinary. My God. Vegetarians and lactose intolerance, beware. Yeah. It's not for you, I'm sorry. This ain't it. <laughs> if you ever come to Basbo's, get this pizza. You might not feel great afterwards. But that's when you know you've had the best meal. Yeah, this is a pizza that you need to be horizontal after. Oh yeah, big time. All right, on to the next place. Get ready. More za to come. More za, more horizontal days. Father Jim Byrne, um, the man who the restaurant is named after, he was a longtime family friend and the pastor of the owner, Dot, Dot Reinstrom. He was the pastor at Holy Cross and the Immaculate Heart for years. Um, he was just a family. Fr he was a family friend of the Reinstroms, and they were very important to him. And so they started as a food truck first. Uh, they started their food truck back in 2011, and then one morning they woke up with the crazy idea: Hey, let's open up a restaurant. So here we are. It's been five years um, since they opened the restaurant, and it's just taken off from there. I came from no serving experience. 
I was bright-eyed, 19-year-old, just like, oh, hey, let's work in my first restaurant. Um, and they just, they raised me from there. It's been tough. Right before shutdown, he called an employee meeting, and we all came in here, and he sat us down, and the first thing he said was that we're all in this together. There's 10, 15 employees total, and the fact that the owner of the restaurant is here for us, he cares, he, our safety has always come first, and he's done everything he can. He kept us open the whole time. A lot of small businesses got shut down during the pandemic, but he was determined to keep us open. He did everything he could. Uh, we started a program called Give One, Donate One, where if you go online and you give a pizza, he will match that donation of a large pizza and then we'll go out to Anna's house, the local food pantry, and we'll give out pizzas to families in need. He started, he started that during the pandemic. Like, hey, we're not the only ones struggling and that's what has kept me around so long is his kindness and his caring. Like our thin crust is super good. Our ingredients are fresh and local. Our burn specialty is definitely a crowd favorite for like a straight up veggie pizza. Uh, it's got like a pesto base, it's got spinach, tomatoes, uh, artichoke hearts, and then ricotta cheese on top. It's especially right now with everything going on, it's those local businesses that need help the most. Everybody here has wife, kids, brother, sister, mom, dad that they're supporting, and it's a local business. It relies on our regular customers. We have the local butler kids that come in. Um, for like the weekend specials or uh, I've had a couple girls come in after like homecoming or something. The local community is always very supportive of anybody and everybody and it's, it's an amazing community. Alright people, we're at Burns. We got, we got the, their specialty. Yes, apparently most popular. Veggies are. Uh, Once again, not a pizza I'd normally order but I'm excited. Alright, ready? Can you see it? Look at this thing. This thing is loaded. Cheers. Cheers. I don't even know where to go. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. That crust is phenomenal. I don't know if I would even classify this as a pizza, though. Well, it's because I always, I always associate pizza with red sauce, and this right. is pesto, so it's different, yeah. but it's still good. The crust is a great char, which we always enjoy. I will say, one of the things Lauren told us was that what makes them different is that everything is very fresh. This is very this fresh. This is one of the most fresh pizzas I've ever had, I will say that. It's like paper thin. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. Wow. This is very, very different, but like in the best way, if that makes sense. Yes. Beautifully put. For our 21 and overs, they have the cutest little bar over there. It's rhino themed. Yeah, it's rhino themed, so say less. Drink responsibly, but come here. Come to Burns. Is that allowed? Can I say that? It. <laughs> when the crust is like burnt, you have like mm -hmm. the bitterness of the crust, mm -hmm. and then you have like the sweetness of the ricotta, and then you have the pesto underlying underneath with the crispy bottom. Yeah. We got a New York Times food critic I'm over just... here. <laughs> they are amazing. They're so friendly. They seem like they're having a great time. I feel like that's the sign of a good work environment. Good food, good if community. The employees are having good a time. good time, okay. the customers will have a good time. Exactly. And that's all God. Your vibe attracts your tribe. <laughs> Next stop, we're going to Diablo. Diablo. Get ready. This place slapped. Come here. 10 out of 10. Next time you want pizza. See ya. Let's go.
A lot of people start with the namesake Diablo. The Diablo is going to come with pomodoro sauce, so it's like a basic tomato sauce, uh, fresh mozzarella, uh, fresh basil, and peppermint peppers. Tart, a little bit tangy, and a little spicy in the end. I think it's super important to you know shop and eat locally, especially because this is a really hard time for restaurants. A lot of my favorite places have closed because of that, and I don't see other places. I live around here and I see a lot of the regulars who eat here when I'm out and about and it's always nice you know, to see a familiar face. We say hi to each other and uh, it just feels like a really close community. I mean we know people's life stories, you know, we know their children. It's a very personal relationship we have. Welcome back. <laughs> we are now at Diavola. We got the Diavola. So, it's what they recommended. Yeah, all made in house, fresh. The chef's Italian, so... It's gotta be good. Basically, we're in Italy. Alright, let's just grab one and try. Mm -hmm. I have to say, this looks like my kind of pizza. We got a leaf on mine. A leaf? Basil? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm! That's good. Oh, it's got a nice spice to it. Oh, yeah. Once again. They've got that charred crust. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm really tearing this pizza apart. Beautiful. The char. That's what gives it the bitter flavor that we love. <laughs> the sauce is very sweet, but then it also has the spice in it. There's a kick. Yeah, you don't see it coming. And I'm not a spice person, and it's not too spicy, so don't worry. Yeah, that's when you know. Like, this reminds me of the pizza that I would eat in Italy. I wasn't there, but I'm sure it would go the same way. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it would. You know it's a good pizza? when you don't need a dip in ranch. That is true. I, I wouldn't would never. I don't even want ranch, but I'm always a ranch girl. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a pizza where you can't just have one. Like, it would be sad if you had to cut yourself off. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Ooh. I don't know. What? Ooh. There's like a sweet, spicy thing I just bit into. Is that there's these? Peppers. Yeah, there's peppers. Oh. Those are wow. good. Oh, they got that a pick. See, I was figuring, because I got one of those in the first one. I was like, surprised you didn't have a reaction. Yeah, I don't think I had one of those. Because it had a decent kick. All right, with that, we are done with our pizza tour. I do need a break Finale. from pizza. That was a lot for one day. Yeah, that was, we, 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 we consumed a lot of pizza. I, I pushed myself to the edge for sure, but worth it. That's a wrap on Zop. All right, <laughs> three, three pizzas done. That concludes Brown Ripple Pizza Edition. I mean, they were all fantastic. I'll be honest, I don't feel great about picking a favorite because there were just, everything had its own element of what made it yeah, like. Yeah, Thing is, they yes. were three entirely different pizzas. Oh, completely. But they were all pizzas and I loved them yeah. all. It so it is hard to compare them. Yeah, no, it worked out very well that they were all like totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so in your opinion, what is Broad Ripple's best? Oh, Megan. Oh, Julie. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with Burns, mm -hmm. our second one, because I saw the way was... you I saw the way you felt in there. Yeah, no, it's like you want someone to look at you the way that I looked at that pizza. Yeah, it was the most different one, which I like. The pesto, pesto as a sauce on pizza. I never would have done it, but it was great. No, never. And honestly, vibes in there immaculate. The best vibes. The people there were incredible. They have the best vibes ever. Yeah, I loved it. I, I think I'm gonna work there for the rest of my life. I would say just all around experience. That's like somewhere I would wanna go back to. Like great story, great people. What else do you story, need? Story, people, pizza. Meg, Meggie? <sighs> Meggie Momo, what do I wanna pick? <laughs> I like, okay. I think my bra ripple best for pizza edition, I think I might have to say Diavola. And I'll tell you why. When I ate that pizza, it really transported me back to Italy. Like it was just like, it, the crust was the same, the sauce. Everything about it just reminded me of my experience there. We get it, you're well traveled. It's a simple- She went abroad, it's guys. A, it's a simple pizza, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It wasn't doing too much. It was just dancing with the flavors. Mm -hmm. It was dancing on my tongue. Dancing off the So tongue. I have to say, I think Diablo was my winner, but that does not say I did not enjoy Basbo's and Burns because they were both phenomenal. See, that's why I struggle with picking one because Basbo was freaking incredible. 
And like that was also a different one, I would say. All these, it was more yeah. traditional pizza, but like the specific one we got was something I would have never ordered. They had the same like close community vibe and like I feel like I know so many people that's like a staple for them. I don't know, it's hard to pick a favorite. I mean, I have to say I will be returning to all three and oh, I yeah. encourage all of you to go yes. to all three because they're all great pizza yes. places. And they're local and they're small. And they're like, and they need our support and help. They do. So they let's do. go there eat is, local. There is still a pandemic, and things are still struggling. Like we have heard from all of these restaurants, and it is very important to be going to these places. So as much as you want to order hot box or Domino's, we know we all no. do. Go to local places. Support local. Eat yes. pizza. Have fun. Megan, Julie, we out. Not Julie. I don't think that did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.